12 years ago, the Rooster Road Trip started as a crazy idea to upland hunt five states in five days on nothing but publicly accessible land. The whole point was to show that no matter what the quote unquote experts on social media had to say, with a little ambition and a lot of boot leather, public land birds can be had by you and anyone who's willing to purchase a license and explore the fantastic landscapes available to all of us. Fast forward to today, and we're still hard at it. None of us are experts, none of our dogs are perfect, but what we lack in polish, we make up for in ambition and good-natured ribbing. This year's trip will take us from southwestern North Dakota to northeastern South Dakota. And today, we find ourselves primed for our first walk on a North Dakota wildlife management area. Not long into the hunt at all for the morning and three tight holding hens so far. Hey! If you could do that on a rooster, that would be great. <laughs> Looks like they're walking on water. So Andrew, if you could summon a rooster next time when you say that there are gonna be birds here. Yeah, I mean, we're coming up to a natural choke point and it's kinda, well, if they're gonna be in here, this is where we've been pushing them. <laughs> but unfortunately, nothing with a long tail feather came up. Not yet, but hopefully we can keep getting into some grass and... Well, we need to find some grass. It's gonna be half the battle, I think, but we'll, we'll figure it out. How'd you like that in your paw? That hurts. You okay, buddy? All right, let's go. Some good cover in between the tree rows. I think, pheasant, are those roosters? Roosters going into the tree row. <sighs> Three roosters, a wild flush into this uh, tree belt over here. So, come here. Uh, good place to hold Sharpies and roosters, I guess. Marissa, here. Okay, who knows if this plan's gonna work, but what I'm thinking is, since we saw all of them dump into the shelter belt, if I swing wide and try to push them back, and both of you line up in the opening, stay out of the trees so you get clear shooting, maybe we'll be able to push one of these roosters into the opening and you guys get the crack at it. Sound all right? birds. I don't think I've run that hard in a while. There's at least one rooster that doubled back and landed behind us. Listen, bird dog Bob, I didn't know that you were going to make me run that hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was incredible. Did you see all the birds come out? I saw some of them. Oh my. I heard them. There were so many. That was really cool. Oh, some good roosters came out of there. Makes my heart hurt. That was a flush. I heard a flush. Wrapping up the first walk of the day, we were able to leave our initial jitters and anxiety behind us. The ongoing drought and emergency haying and grazing going on in the area had us wondering what we were actually getting ourselves into. But being able to put some eyes on birds was seen as a good omen, even if our game bags were still empty. Atta girl. Oh, it's pheasant egg. Traveling north, we decided to hit another wildlife management area that consisted of a sizable wetland complex, grass, sunflowers, and hedgerows. Taking what we learned from earlier in the day, we decided to ignore the fact that temperatures were already creeping into the mid-70s and we dove right into the cattails. We found the cattails again. There goes a rooster, two of them. I wasn't expecting to be busting cattails today. You feel better? Uh, there's a lot of birds in here.
Well, rooster road trip, rooster number one. We're starting to heat up here in North Dakota on this beautiful, beautiful autumn day. I saw Logan drop one. Woo! You got one in the bag, Bob? On the board. Not a kid. It's I'm all sorry. downhill from here. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, guys. That's, that's a wet, that's a wet bird. A wet noodle. Wow. After getting a couple of hard-earned birds in the bag, we decided to escape the midday heat and focus our evening hunt on a plots property. PLOTS stands for Private Lands Open to Sportsmen, and it allows access to habitat on private ground. This year, there are more than 800,000 acres open to public walk and hunting in North Dakota, all thanks to generous landowners. This PLOTS piece is a newer grass planting, so it's nice and weedy and difficult to walk through, which will hopefully mean it holds a lot of birds. Hopefully that means they're not gonna be running 200 yards out in front of us and escaping. Well, our, hey, our if range. they do, Baxter will be on them. Without us next to him. <laughs> yes, he will be, he will be. <laughs> no, it's been a fantastic start to the day. And, uh, thank you so much for, for helping guide us around here in Southwestern North Dakota. And it's, it's pretty great to be able to take advantage of a program that has, what, nearly 800,000 acres mm -hmm. of publicly accessible land for anybody to go hunt. Our game and fish department does an excellent job with this program and makes sure that we have a lot of happy hunters and happy birds. Nothing like hunting in a t-shirt in mid-October. So after we hunt this field, just make sure to flush your dog's eyes out. Because this stuff is, is you know, really very seedy and weedy. Yeah. Bob, is that a point in front of you? Be another bird to get up here pretty quick. I'm calling it. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh man. Oh, there it goes. That's a long walk for one bird. Emily's premonition of a weedy field holding birds has been correct. Like, I think that's where the creek flows through, I think. So kind of work with this kind of hillside a little bit? I think so. Okay. I don't know. Oh yeah, I for mean, sure. We're gonna swing around here and then head more east and kind of follow the contour of this old creek. Um, the birds we saw flush earlier, they're kind of hugging this little depression. So we're just gonna kind of follow that and see if we can get into them. But these birds are getting up wild and this weedy cover so, so dry. It's, you're not sneaking up on them, we'll tell you that. Yeah, you already do have seeds. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bridger. Oh boy, that is a nice big mature bird. They've just been getting up wild throughout this entire field. Baxter definitely has been bumping plenty as well, but this one finally held for us. It's a nice mature bird, beautiful. That is what we are here for. Are we able to cross? Doesn't look like it. That's okay. pretty deep. I mean, I think we can stay on this side and we'll keep moving birds around. Yeah. Like they're flushing wild, but we'll get some to hold. Snipe. Nice. I like that little squeak thing. So do you know what work has been done on this property? Um, as far as like- or just habitat work? Like this is all just a new grass planting. Um, so you can see the like um, nurse crop. Okay. So this is, all just, this is all just new, it's all gonna be it's weedy. Like weedy. It's real weedy. So it take a couple years for it to kind of really fill out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, the first few years of a grass planting are usually the best years, as far as pheasant. Birds just love it. Yeah. Watch that green patch over there, remember? There's just so much scent all over. My dog's like a freaking ping pong ball. He's just all over the place. Oh, rooster. Nice. Awesome. Nice shot, Logan. You know you're seeing 
just like an insane amount of birds when you're long, long, no longer like getting excited about seeing 50 birds bubble up. It's like, well, we're never gonna get close to any of those. We're just hoping for like the ones and twos that stay behind. We've seen well over 100 birds in this field. As the light began to change, we turned back toward the truck and watched our dogs cut through the golden hour grass. While we certainly had hopes of pinning down another bird or two, this was essentially a glorious fall evening victory lap as today was already a success. We found birds, we had fun, and we got to spend time with good friends and great dogs all while exploring land that's open to all of us. Tomorrow, another day of the Rooster Road Trip would unfold, but tonight, the Uplands were putting on a show and we were content just to simply take it all in.